What's going on, everyone? So I want to just have a general conversation about Ghostface. And here, of course, your thoughts and opinions. So let me know down in the comments below on like what you want to see from Ghostface and kind of go over some of the rumors and give my thoughts and opinions on what I would like to see from Ghostface in this upcoming Scream film. So right off the bat, there's a lot of rumors going around that this is supposed to be the most brutal, scary is the key that they're really kind of emphasizing, like, hey, this is going to be the scariest ghost face yet, scariest scream movie yet, it's going to be very brutal, very over the top, very dark, right, and look, I am all for that, all for that, I would love to see some creative kills, I'd love to see Ghostface get off the knife on occasion, right, obviously, it's a slasher film, you want Ghostface primarily on the knife, but I love, you know, some of the, the improvising that you see from Ghostface at times, I also love, however you feel about the series, whether you loved it, hated it, whatever, the series has some of the best kills in, like, horror period. I mean, some of the kills in the series are incredible. I mean, the series has the best kills in, like, the Scream universe for sure. I mean, there are some epic kills in that. And I'd like to see, again, some creativity, right? Like, I loved it in Scream 6 where... You know, like the the wood plank scene, right? Where he's kind of messing with plank. Like that to me is is an excellent, it just, it builds tension. It builds just like angst, right? Like you can feel it. Like, oh, like could you imagine being trapped in that situation? Could you imagine feeling the way that you would feel in that moment? Like knowing that, like, you know, it's basically hopeless. You're sitting duck, right? And Ghostface, like there's no knife. There's no knife. I mean, Ghostface, what, he stabbed the knife in the into the window seal or whatever, it's just like, and, but you can see it, you know it's coming, you know it's building up, and then boom, just a brutal kill, and you're just like, oh, like, but at the end of the day, this is a horror franchise, it's a, it's a slasher film, it's supposed to be that way, it's supposed to be dark, it's supposed to be brutal, it's supposed to be intense, I love the way that Scream 5 and 6 have approached Ghostface, and look, I've been incredibly critical with Scream 5 and 6, and I know, but however you feel about it, right? Like Ghostface has been fantastic, right? Like the 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 level of kills, the intensity, the dark undertones. Like Scream Five, I love that Ghostface didn't play games, right? When you saw Ghostface, and you saw whoever the target was, you knew, oh, that's it, they're gone, right? They're, they're dead, and they were just surprise kills. It was very realistic and very dark and very swift, right, where, you know, you look at Scream, not so much 4, but particularly Scream 1 through 3, very goofy at times, right, Ghostface can be clumsy, a little awkward, kind of plays with its food a little too much, which I get, kind of, you know, builds the attention, builds the excitement, but I thought Scream 5 did a good job, I thought it was, you know, copycat a little too much, but, you know, like, for example, uh, Wes's scene. I I loved how they built the tension with that scene. You know, like, you just... You kept thinking, like, oh, this is the moment. Oh, he opened the cabinet. Oh, it's coming. And it, nothing. And then it just built it enough and enough. But I thought it they built it well enough to where the cutoff point wasn't ridiculous. You know, because you'll see films do that sometimes where... Like, they, they'll build it and build it. It's just like, okay, can we get to the point? Like, come on, we know it's coming. When is it coming? I thought they did a good job of not, like, overusing that tension and building the proper tension with it. And I want that to maintain. I want that to stick. Right? Like, I want that to be... The problem with Scream 6 is nobody died. But like, it had some great scenes. Right? Like, the bodega scene was cool, but, like, none of those characters mattered. Right? Like, none of the characters that mattered died. Nobody died in that film. It was all extras. Like, I don't want to, I want to see some real stakes. I want to see some real tension, right? Like, I want to see a menacing, dark ghost face that just doesn't play games, right? Like, you ghost face has you in their sights. That's it. It's over. You know, y your family needs to start planning burials, right? Like, I, like, I love that. And I thought Scream 5 did a better job of just kind of getting Ghostface, like the point of Ghostface across, right? 
I know most people like Scream 6 better than Scream 5, but I'm talking about specifically, not necessarily the story or the film in general. I'm talking about Ghostface in particular. All right, Ghostface and Scream 5, from Vince to, to Wes to Judy to, to Liv to all of, like, it was just swift, brief, brutal. Like, the only people that got away were the people that they wanted to get away, right? Like, Tara. They didn't want to kill Tara. They wanted to keep her alive to draw Sam out, right? Like, it was one of those things where it was just like, I loved that element of it. I want that. But also, in a lot of ways, it was very simple. It was very simplistic. And simplicity sells. Simplicity, you know, you see a lot of times horror franchise, especially as they start getting into like later series and stuff, they start moving away from simple and they try to go crazy or over the top. And, you know, they try to do a little too much. And, and Scream 6, I thought, kind of teetered that line a few times. You know, like where he gets stabbed in the mouth and then he comes back and then he's still alive. And then it's just like, or, you know, Chad getting just brutally attacked. Like there were moments where it was just like, all right, it's getting a little carried away, a little over the top. To me, keep it simple. Right? Like I thought Scream 5, particularly the kills in Ghostface, because again, we're, we're just talking about Ghostface here. I thought it was very simple, very simplistic. Right? Ghostface kind of distracts with the car. Lures Vince over, sneak attack from behind, boom, right to the neck, done. Right? It's over. Wes, same thing, right? Kind of toying with Wes for a moment, kind of keeping him distracted so you could come sneak up, boom, right? Right to the neck, done. You know, Judy, she's running, got that emotional scene, excellent buildup, you know, very emotional, right? She's running up, I'm coming, baby, like... You think, oh, mom's going to come in. Oh, it's too late. Mom's already, you know, mom's not going to make it. We're going to get to see her reaction here, right? Oh, it sucks, man. Like, Ghostface are probably already gone. And then she runs up to those steps and boom, like, that's it. And it's just like, oh, like, it's such a simplistic scene. You know, y y you're used to seeing, like, oh, Ghostface, Ghostface already took out Wes and left. Ghostface isn't waiting around. Like, Ghostface doesn't know if Judy's came with reinforcements or what. Like, Judy doesn't know. Like, Ghostface doesn't know what's going on. Ghostface is already gone, right? And then, boom, nope, not. Right? Like, even Dewey. I know a lot of people don't like, because, you know, it was Amber and stuff like that. But also fail to realize that, like, it wasn't... Amber lost the fight. Amber got just manhandled. And then... Dewey got distracted, which he's always done. A lot of people go, oh, you know, oh, that Dewey would never do that. Like, Dewey's done it in every movie. I mean, Ghostface knocked Dewey out with the butt of the knife. Do you remember in Scream 2 when he's being, he's being literally chased by Ghostface, trying to find Gale. He knows Ghostface is running around and steps on pizza cheese and is sitting there playing with the, the pizza cheese and trying, and, and boom, gets, like, Dewey's always been that guy that's just distracted and, and doesn't know what's going on, right? Like, that's Dewey's character. So Dewey just getting surprised attack, but it worked. Like, it was simplistic. People are just mad that Dewey died, which I get. You know, I wasn't happy Dewey died. But if you really boil down the scene, and you really kind of look at the scene for what it was, it made sense. Again, that's what this ghost face is. And I want it to stay that way. Keep it simple. We don't need it to be all over the top. We don't need it to be all crazy. We don't need you to do 15 different things to try to, you know, like, if you want to get off the knife, fine. You know, you want to ghost faces in a scuffle and loses the knife but finds an axe. You know, boom, right? Like, cool. Or, you know, the, the person's lying there immobilized or something and there's a wood chipper. You want to throw them in the wood chipper. Like, cool, right? Like, you know, like again, you can... You can do a little over-the-top kill, but still keep it simple. Still keep it within scope, right? Like, I just, I, 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 I want the dark, menacing type of ghost face, right? Like, if you can take, essentially, Scream 5 and 6 ghost face and marry the two, I think you'd have, like, a perfect ghost face, right? Where, like, Scream 5 was, again, menacing, dark, to the point, brutal, but... You know, Ghostface in Scream 6 was 
little more, you know, a little more practical, a little more, you know, is very militant almost, right? Which made sense that it was Detective Bailey, right? Like, like you, you marry those two, I think you got like a perfect ghost face in my opinion. But anyways, always, this is a discussion and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you like the idea of Ghostface um, being a little more dark or keep it simple? Basically, all the points that I went over. Do you have any other kind of perspectives or thoughts? Um, you know, anything you want to share? Do you think the opposite? Do you think that, no, Ghostface should be a little more goofy, should be a little more this, a little more that? Again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.